Mm. Caffeine. The elixir of kings and queens. Gnome 48. An arch. Is it a match made in heaven? Who knows? Let's check it out. Let's see if it is a feast for the eyes and the feelings. Because I know somebody out there has been waiting for this with tears in their eyes for a millennia. Uh, because the triple buffer thing in Gnome has been, they've been working on that for like five years and it's here. Anyways, triple buffer, who's like, this is a super deep technical review. And so be prepared to be bedazzled and mind blown. So I think after this review, Google's going to call me like, Hey buddy, you want to work for us? I don't know. I don't know if I want to work for the fang, but, uh, let's check this, uh, thing out. So settings, a new thing in settings is well-being. So oh, I'm too big. <laughs> oh, I need an editor. I need somebody that's like taking care of me and telling me like move stuff around. You don't have to, you have to be in the picture so much and make yourself smaller. I don't want to be smaller. So yesterday... I was on this bad boy for six hours and three minutes. I know. Are you impressed? The lady was not. Uh, so I was in the zone. I was working on stuff. I was clickety clacking in the terminal. And uh, I was even impressed by myself. And so I had this eyesight remi reminder on and the movement reminder on. And for every 30 minutes. And they played on ping pong. You have to like, and you get the notification. You have to move, buddy. And... Uh, I was not a fan of that. After like four hours, I know I should stand up. I know I should move. And I should, and he said, to like with the move, no, eyesight reminder is like, hey, buddy, stare at something that's like six meters away for 30 seconds or something. And uh, it's all good. I have just have to get used to it. But it was kind of like a person coming to you. It was like, stand up, move. And I was like, I don't need that right now. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> Clearly somebody has issues. And so I really like this whole screen time thing because I want to know how much time I'm spending on the computer. And so I like this. Uh, I turned this off, this off. And so, and I'm probably going to turn this off or like increase the daily limit and then just see what it looks like with the screen screen let's just do that right now let's live on the edge oh it's like that it's like that okay okay <laughs> okay that's cool i like it i really like this so uh i've been using it and nice neat hdr support can i get a whoop whoop yes you can it's probably amazing it's like you're looking into the future but i wouldn't know anything about that because my monitors do not support HDR. If you're watching the Linux Ninja show and you like what you see, well, who doesn't? And you want to send me an HDR monitor, I'll review it, I'll caress it, and I will keep it. Uh, so there's also some, let's go tweaks, tweakity tweak. Uh, there's also a new font, new default GNOME font. After 1800 years, they've made the switch from Cantrell to Advaita, the Darth Vader sense. And so just install GNOME tweaks if you do not like the default one and go back in time to Cantarel and uh, switch it out. I like the new font. Uh, I'm not a big font person, even though I read the blog for like how they were deciding the font. I'll put the link in the description if you want to read it. They were thinking about the IBM Plex Mono, which I've been running in my terminal for quite some time. So I think I'm quite hip and cool with the whole font scene, but I just didn't know. Um, but I like the Adveda and uh, the Darth Veda font, so it's a keeper. Winning. Now that I run Arch, I do believe, according to the interwebs, I have to do this. <laughs> don't click away. Don't leave. Don't leave me now. Uh, I'm doing this to show you the GPU that I'm running. I know, I know. It's old, like me, but it kind of gets the job done, like me. Uh, so GNOME has released triple buffering, finally, since they've been working on this since 1983. And I came from GNOME 47, and even with this GPU, I saw a difference. Things were smoother. 
And the triple buffering is mostly focused or it is going to help integrated GPUs and like really even older than the 3080 GPUs, 2080, 170. I have a machine here with 170. I have another machine with 280. But I kind of want the new AMD. I'm, 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 an AMD, I'm an AMD guy now, and, but I don't have the f funds. Slow clap. Um, so <clears> the <throat> triple buffering, triple buffering, Tri triple buffering <laughs> works with, uh, they added another buffer. Who knew? More is more. More is better. Uh, so the new buffer starts to render frames as the previous frames are being shown. So it cuts down on screen tearing. It makes things smoother. And I have to tell you, they are not lying. It is smoother. That is a nice segue to the new and super smooth image viewer that has some new, new, new features. And uh, usually you can see this is a brand spanking new system. Usually I have a bunch of pictures of myself roaming the countryside shirtless. But this has to do for now. I know, I know you're all sad. But uh, now we can do edit image and you can crop at your heart's desire. I know, go nuts. Who needs entertainment when you can just be doing that and rotate that is as well as new as new flip flippity flip flip oh it's a brand spanking new house who knew so i like those features i usually use crop a lot so it's nice that it's now in the image viewer so the last new feature that i am going to cover group notifications of course of course there are a bunch more. I'm not gonna go through the whole list. I'm only covering features that are important to me, myself, and moi. But uh, link in the description, you can read, read it at your heart's desire. Take it slowly, have a moment, grab some popcorn. Reading the GNOME release notes, that's a date night. Uh, so group notifications, oh, what am I doing? Uh, I have no notifications, so uh, clearly I suck at this. But you have a phone, right? You have a phone. You know how this works. Regroup your notifications according to, like, let's say Discord. You have 50 notifications. Group together. Nice. So since I have no notifications, I'm going to show you the Icelandic weather. So let's make this a bit bigger. Can I? Can I? Can I? Is that like a... No. So here's the Icelandic weather. So it's plus seven. And it's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's always raining. So if you enjoy clouds, rain, wind, the weather changing every three minutes, come to Iceland and enjoy it. Indulge. Uh, I, I, because I live here, I do not understand why people visit this place. Yes, it's exotic. It looks like the moon. Nature is beautiful. But... Honestly, you probably have to live in a place like Spain, Italy, Florida, where it's always nice and you're always tanned. And so we have none of that. None of that. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, let's get eye on the prize. Um, Gnome 48, I am pleasantly surprised. I am waiting for my extensions to like, you know, catch up and be updated so I could show you more stuff with my extensions. But I'm going to do that at a later time. So I hope you've enjoyed this video about GNOME 48 and Arch. And it's it, it's magical. It's, uh, it's a wunderbar, as we say in the land of not Iceland. Um, anyways, hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. It really helps. I'm trying to grow the channel. And you can see I have a new microphone. I'm taking this seriously. I'm trying to improve. And hopefully one day I can buy a camera. I'm shooting this on my web camera. Anyways, I'm still okay. Life's okay. I have to stand up because my leg is starting to hurt. Uh, talk to you later. Peace out, my friends. Bye.